Hello everybody, this is Tyler Hunter, and welcome back to another Graveyard Review, and this Graveyard Review is on the Spirit Halloween 2016 Crazy Creations Floating Ghost Girl. From, so now I got this prop at Spirit Halloween for 2016, and before we get into anything about Floating Ghost Girl, let's look at the box. So it says Spirit Floating Ghost Girl, there's a picture of her, a really cool picture. Um, it says... Once innocent, now in the clutches of evil. Beware of her possessed arms. Snap up to grab and drag you into a vast darkness of evil. Idly that body lifts up and floats in the air. Easy to mount on any wall. And it says, step pads sold separately. Um, her box is really cool. It's got the new design and stuff. And there's a top floating ghost girl on the side. Just, you know, the floating ghost girl with that really cool picture of her. On the back, it just says the same things, and that you can connect um, a step pad, and then there's like the bottom where it says you can have batteries and stuff. And this prop is a lot like a Ticky Twist prop, and that's what another thing I'm going to talk about in this review. So I'm going to get right to that first thing. So, uh, Funny Ghost Girl, before we get into any detail and stuff, we're going to talk about she, how she is related to Techie Toys. Now, we all thought she was a Techie Toys prop until Techie started releasing those demos, and we realized she wasn't. With the much research, we actually found that she isn't Techie Toys, and that she is Crazy Creations. As you can see, her hands and her deep and her face are more like a Techie prop, and their hands look like a, like a boogeyman, and have the same kind of strap and um, material on it, which makes it almost close to Techie Toys. And same with the plastic feet. Techie Toys always use plastic for their feet. And on the module, you can see there's batteries, plastic gears, a speaker, and frayed. Um, speak the speaker jack, step pad, try me adapter, and volume control. Look at that. That's like that's all looks exactly like Techie Toys. Almost like they, they just took all of Techie Toys props and just used parts for them. But I'm not complaining about that or anything. I just said it looks a lot like Techie Toys, and even the even the mount on the back looks like a Techie Toys. Um, because it's wooden, and that's what Techie Toys usually uses. And the even the adapter, it's even similar. Look at that. It's like the only thing that's different about the adapter is actually it doesn't have the uh, logo or the prop names on it. I should say. So yeah, that's really different from. Yeah, but this is a crazy creation. So let's get to the uh, detail floating ghost girl. She has really good details. You can see her face is really creepy, and it's just like cracks in her mouth as you, you, you know red in her eyes. She's actually kind of a rubber material type. Uh, her face is just really cool. It's like, and her hands are um, not posable like Boogeyman's, but they're uh, rubber, rubber with like rubber paint on it. It's really cool though. I would definitely recommend this product. And her dress, and then here's her, here's her other hand. Um, but this prop is a really cool prop. Um, definitely really cool. And the dress, yeah, she don't, she don't, she's hanging on a chair, that's why. And her feet are actually pretty cool for detail, even though they're just plastic. They're actually pretty cool for detail. They actually do look like, kind of like real feet, even though they're just plastic. Funny Ghost Girl, it, uh, her dress right there, there's a sensor right there in the middle. Uh, try to get to that, there it is right there. And then he's like a little bowl. Um... Definitely a lot of detail. There's the hair. Her hair looks kind of not too messy, but not too, you know, neat, which makes it more kind of realistic. And her ears. She's not, her face isn't really as realistic, but it's still really creepy. And her ears, they're rubber, and her face is rubber. Her eyes are plastic. Um, but it's, just, it's like a rubber with, like, a plastic under it to give it a hard feeling. And the, there, so there she is. So let's look at a, a demo of her. <laughs> Get back! She is in Satan's clutches! <laughs> 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 
Now I'm going to rate Floating Ghost Girl in five categories. Detail, animation, appearance, durability, and price. Detail, she's getting a star for the detail, definitely. A uh, star for animation, a star for appearance, a half a star for durability, since it's kind of cheaply, not cheap, but more delicate, and it could break easily. Mine almost broke, I actually almost caught that on tape. And price is, um, I think I got it for Christmas, and it's on half off of about $70. This is definitely a good price, so... In total, I think Floating Ghost Girl is going to get a 4.5 out of 5 pumpkins on the uh, Great Dragon Review race scale, because, just because of the detail. Okay, everybody, since I'm not using my mic this time, um, the reason why I'm using this is because it would not let me use my mic. It would, like, say I'm full, even though I'm not even full in memory. So I'm just going to figure that out later, but now I'm just using my actual voice in the video. But, um, yeah, so... As I was saying, Floating Ghost Girls gonna get a four point five for the issue because of the quality. The uh, the quality is kinda gentle, you need to be kinda gentle with her unless she'll break. Mine almost just broke. She was just malfunctioning for a second, but I fixed her. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure to subscribe to Halloween Haunter for more Halloween videos. And this is Halloween. Mm -hmm.